In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw a one-point perspective sketch. At this point, you should have already watched the PowerPoint video that gave you some basic instructions, and now we're going to practice doing an object in one-point perspective. The first part to a one-point perspective sketch is to draw in a horizon line. So I'm lightly going following the grid lines and making a horizon line. And then I need to pick somewhere on the horizon line to be my vanishing point. We're going to try to draw just this basic one little wooden block or a cube. So off to the side from my vanishing point, I'm going to start by drawing the front face of my cube and it is a cube so I'm making it 3 by 3 you can make it 2 by 2 I find that 3 by 3 is a nice size so I'm starting with the front face of the cube next everything else that we do goes back to my vanishing point so I'm gonna lightly draw construction lines from the corner of my object back to my vanishing point Notice I'm making them very light because they are construction lines. We're freehand sketching so I'm not using a ruler but some people find it helpful to use a ruler to get these lines. And then I'm not drawing the line that goes in this corner because it's actually going through the object so I'm going to leave that off. I've got these three right here towards my vanishing point. Now I need to determine what is a good amount of distance to represent the depth of my cube. So I am thinking I am going to go about this far back and then I'm going to follow and make this line vertical. Now the key to making your um, objects not look distorted is that you keep these two vertical lines parallel. Whenever we start to make these lines off to the side and diagonal, that's what makes our objects look parallel. And then I trace it until I find where it intersects my construction line and then I can darken this and that gives me the side of my cube. And then I'm going to come across here and this is going to make my uh, depth of my and again I'm trying to stay parallel to this grid line right here but I'm not actually on a grid line and the more I keep this horizontal and stay parallel to the grid line the less distorted this is going to look and then wherever it intersects my vanishing point I'm gonna darken that for my object line and here is my one puzzle cube in one point perspective. Notice it's vanishing towards this line to this point. Then we can always shade it. This side's going to be darker. If my sun is over here and this side's going to be light and then the top is going to be bright and that's my shading for my one point puzzle cube. Now it gets a little more difficult whenever we try to make an actual object. So let's try to draw my flash drive here in one point perspective. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my vanishing my horizon line. and this is going to be in one point perspective so I'm going to create one point I'm putting it on the other side this time just to show you that it doesn't matter where you put your point and in the assignment that you're going to do today you will see a picture of an object that has a vanishing point directly behind it and so I'm going to draw the front face of my USB on my page. So when I'm looking at this, my front page has kind of a small part, small metal part that comes out the end. I 
actually looks a little bit too wide. This is proof that anyone can draw because even I am not an excellent artist. Making mistakes and going back and fixing them. Okay, and then there is a section on here with some detail and I would like for you to put the detail on your drawings when you choose an object please put the detail on it makes them look so much better and then there's like a little round section goes in here. Okay, so this is my one point, or this is my front face, I'm sorry, of my flash drive. And now to get it in one point perspective, I'm going to go draw construction lines from the corners of my object or the edges to my vanishing point. So from major, from detailed parts, I am drawing my vanishing lines very lightly. Oh, I'm going to need this one right here. And then we can begin, again, this one I'm not going to draw because it would go through the object. These down here would go through the object. Now I have to decide um, the depth of my object, and so I'm going to go right through here. This helps me to decide how these go. And then I'll use this little piece of this line to show that it's vanishing. to this point, fading away to that point. And I needed these vanishing lines so that I could make this correct angle right here. And then we can do some shading. shading over here. And that is my flash drive in one point perspective. And that's an example of sketching in one point perspective. So now would you please uh, go to the perspective sketching and complete numbers one through three only and then you'll watch the two-point perspective video. Thank you.